move on. Damn it, no. Okay, still going? Yes. Okay, we got there. Let him do this. So how, the chicken, sweetheart, you gonna use all that in your Popeye? No, I don't want to. We got the corn, or whatever I'm thinking. You could use three of them, right? In there? No, just do two, dog. Okay? Yeah, and then you got the water chestnuts. Yeah, just fall back, save this for another dinner. All right, there we go. Let's start going now. Yes. All right. This is freezing nicely. This is this is super so nice. All right. This is getting there. We got this one. That one's getting there. Okay, good. We're getting there. Put it like that. And put that there. Alright. Now the rest of them is going to go. Yes. Okay, so let's do this. how I normally freeze things, but I gotta do it down there. I'm not happy about that either. But I got to do it, okay? And what do you do? You freeze it down there, dude. It's frozen, but it's not freezing fast enough. I'm not gonna sit here and take a chance on wasting or getting sick. Possibly by contamination. So let's just take it. It's nice and cold. It's, oh, trust me, it's like, woo, snow, cold. So I'm happy with that. And let's put it right now 
and to have better freezer while it's nice and nice and cold. Instead of waiting and waiting and waiting for that little freezer I have to, no, I'm just not doing that. So, we gotta go back to the kitchen, I know. I don't wanna do it, dude. And this lady, dude, with what I witnessed, you know, the people screaming in this house, uh, the whole uh, uh, conception here of cooking, and she's cooking all those onions and stuff, onions and bacon down there. I don't want my food down there, dude. But my guidance is that it's all right. Put it down there. I don't even want. I don't know where this cut off. I have no idea. Okay. Let's go. All right. Got a scary movie going. All right, enjoy that. Okay. There. Food is in the refrigerator, freezer. I mean, that's fucking disgusting. It's not as nasty. They made some improvements. This woman, I strongly allege, knew her victims set them up. One of them, I believe, I witnessed get attacked in the kitchen, and then she goes down there nightly and cooks right there. All right, this is beyond my pay grade. That's for someone who has six to eight years of uh, psychological education. I have an associate's degree. I would have gotten more, but I did a pretty good job with my associates, undergraduate. 
So I don't, I cannot tell you what's going on with her. But I know what I heard and I know what I witnessed. And I know I'm not on crack. I'm not on meth. I'm not on LSD. I'm not on fucking whatever. What? What? Psilocybin mushrooms. I'm not imagining this, folks. Okay? I got my food in the freezer. And um, that I'm happy with. And we're going to do a nice um, chicken tarragon here. This is cool. It's the... Uh, let me grab it just since we're chatting. This is works, man. I mean, you could get better, yeah. But it's water chestnuts. It quantifies. Okay. We're going to do that with some beautiful chicken breast. You got to get something good quality. I know, right? Fuck, man. This, I got some good ones. This poverty they put me in. This, this outright fucking wicked. Um, but, so we do a really nice puff pastry. I'm all about getting even better puff pastry than I buy. Yeah, I know. But it's not going to happen. It's not in the stars with my budget. And the, look, I'm doing great with the puff pastry I get. Okay, so here's our chicken. Let me wrap it a little more. It's hot, you folks. It's getting hot in D.C. I'm sure they're out there really enjoying the weather, laughing at the parks, pointing at things, laughing. <laughs> they, they've been doing that outside the neighbors. With everything I put up and how fucking freaky it is here, you can hear them laughing from house to house. Ah! Party, party, party. So, um, let's put that chicken back in here. Uh, is this still going? It looks like I... Okay. This little guy, the steak here. Um, I wonder if we can get him. We probably can. Let's just stick him there. Okay, there. So today I'd like to do a... Omelette dish. Um, I'm working on that. Look, I have goals I'm trying to reach, but the most important ones was the obvious garbage, recycling, sanitary step, which you have witnessed me do most of the time. And um, dishes, like, look, by the time I get done dealing with what I'm dealing with in here, I will, but I, I just, wow, folks. Wow, I'm really impressed, Washington, D.C. Okay, so, and I'm being harassed by what I presume is a Russian mob porn site again. All right, fine. And notice she's got her uh, scary music playing. Not music, excuse me. You know what I mean, movie. This has all been documented, so if somebody's feeling tough in the mob again, well, you could ask her. Why don't you go have a go do, storm down the hallway, flush the toilet, stay up for two days. Flush, flush, flush. Then stand on the porch and scream about fucking weird shit that nobody asked her to fucking scream about. But I filmed it for her. It's all over the internet. Scream. Ah, nah, nah. To the fucking police. These aren't cops. These are Jalisco Mexican drug cartel boys. That's what the DCPD are. And um, when she did that, it was on film. I'm just not going to quote what she did. Because everybody knows what she screamed while she was on the porch. Um, both cops in unison stepped right back. They both were looking right at her when she was screaming about, you know what, flushing. And they both stepped right back like, like they're so obedient. That's totally what I saw. Two, uh, they were, they're not cops, they're Mexican drug cartel members. Stood right back, both of them. One foot... Like you taking a step back. They both did. It was like almost like, like they were little cheerleaders doing their little skit. Like, here, let's both step back now. The one two step. They both stepped back. Eyes were on her. And then they started to back off like, we're out of this. We're out of this. That's not even how cops react to shit like that. And a crazy fucking person screaming on the porch is another reason why you don't just stand there. These are not cops. These are Mexican Drug cartel enforcers here with badges and guns. It's a serious mucho problemo. We got a loco bandeta gringa up there with the agua. Okay, mucho agua problemo, loco gringo. Agua, 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 flush, flush, flush. What is she doing? I do not know, Ponchos. I don't know. All right? I don't know, but she flooded it out. It's such a importiento agua for her. She amore. She amore agua. That she, my bathroom became a shower. 
And all the water was orange. Orange. Everything is stained orange. All right. Okay, fine. Look, fuck it. Um, so here's some more ingredients. Our carrots. Celery, folks. This is for two different dishes. One's Italian, one's British. I'm going to rest. It's really hot in D.C. It's starting to get hot. It's all right. I don't do air conditioner unless I have to. Or if there was somebody around and they didn't like sitting with a fan. You can hear her. Some really high screeching noise, like she's scooting something. This shit's unbelievable here, dude. They're working here 24-7. Mucho importiento project, folks. Why don't you come ask and find out? It's so importiento, they go on the roof at night. Um, anyways. So if there was somebody around me that said, Heidi, can we put on the air conditioner? I will usually hold off on AC until like July. But, you know, other people are like, ah, it's too hot. I understand, especially here. I complain about the heat a lot here. It's, this, is, this is pretty bad in D.C. Um, but I'm not a, a hot, like, phobia. I don't have hot phobia, as I just stated. But um, it gets a little much in D.C. The heat, the sweating, when you're walking, there's no breeze. That shit's fucking awful. And then, like, there's all these, like, white people. Primarily, it's whites. They got their, their uh, non-white uh, supporters, which I've made clear that I've witnessed that. Uh, and you're out there, and it's sweaty hot, and um, it's just awful, the humidity and so forth. And there's all these white people that you have no... They're the strangers in the street. They, this, this is like, what the fuck is this? And they're glaring, staring, jeering, sneering. Refusing to move. I mean, they're just getting all kinds of wild on those sidewalks. Yeah. These are grown adults, I know. All right, so the food is in the freezer. This is my little uh, lunch I have pre-made. It's a uh, cod with a nice Cajun sauce and some green beans, okay? We're going to have that for lunch. I'm trying to make an omelet <clears throat> one thing at a time, all right? That's all I can tell you, folks. All right, so I've chatted. I feel good. Doing that. And um, I'm glad that I'm more free to speak about the house I live in. Because that's pretty, that's pretty screwed up. That the Mexican drug cartel has that much influence over the federal police here. <clears throat> and the local police. That until good cops and good lawyers could do their part, me as a witness had to be silenced because they're not cops. The federal agents and the police here are Mexican Jalisco drug cartel members, and they know it. They know it. They're drug cartel, Mexicano. Okay? Comprende? Gracias. And they know it. They're proud of it, man. <laughs> We're moving the drugs. We're pimping the girls. All right, yeah, because that's what the cartel basically does. The Russian mob does a little bit more. They do more organized crime things. But the cartel is proud of that. We are drugs. We are bitches. All right? So we'll see how the cartel feels about all of this. Okay, we will see. Maybe I'll start getting some YouTube harassment in Espanol. All right. Bye.